Welcome to Entering Your Notes in Enter Claims. This video will first cover important reminders before you begin entering your notes. Then we're going to enter the initial information about each session, enter the session details, and finally fill out the Show Additional Information section. Let's review some important reminders before you begin. Number one, this should be done on your phone or tablet while you're at the child's home so you can capture the guardian's signature. Number two, be sure to finish your log note and sign it the same day as the session because the system will not allow you to complete it electronically if the signature date does not match the session date. Please remember that New York State requires that notes are written and signed the same day that the session occurs. Three, be sure that you have changed your home screen attendance mode to single attendance screen on the therapist preference tab or else you will not be able to capture the guardian's signature. And finally, be sure your goals are entered for each child. If you did not enter them, please refer to video number three. Now let's go to entering a session. To enter your attendance, click on home and then my day and my cases, or you can use today's schedule if you have previously entered a schedule. Find the child's name and click on the attendance button. Start filling in the boxes. Confirm the service date is today. Enter your start and stop time. It is pre-filled for you, so simply edit any changes you need to make. Enter the attendance code. Please remember that all canceled sessions need to be recorded. When a makeup is entered, you will need to include the date the makeup was for. If it will not allow you to choose a date, please save your work, close, and reopen. If this is the first month you are entering your notes and you are making up for a session from the prior month, it will be necessary for you to first enter the missed session. You do not need to put it on a bill. Simply enter the date and time into Enter Claim. Now you can click on Session Details to enter your actual note. Confirm your CPT codes for the session. It will default to the standard one, but you can adjust it to be whatever you see fit. If your default code is incorrect, please contact UpWeGrow so we can fix the default. Now fill in the Notes section. This is where you describe the progress that the child has made toward the IFSP outcome since the last session. Include any parent or caregiver feedback. Please remember this can be completed by simply clicking on the microphone in your keyboard instead of typing it all out. Click the box to show if the parent or par caregiver was present. If the answer is other, please include that information in the notes section. Now choose how the parent caregiver was involved, either they observed the session or parent training. Click the box next to parent communication and choose the type of communication, face-to-face, -face, phone, email, agenda book. Choose the level of progress, no progress, limited progress, or progress. You can skip the section labeled response. This will automatically be filled in when you select your goals on the printed notes. If there is a co-visiting therapist, add this name in the box. Click on the box that says Assigned Goals and add each goal that you worked on. If you do not have any goals displaying, please refer to Video 2, Setting Up Goals and Enter Claims. It is not necessary to complete the trial or value information. It is very important that you click Add Goal after you choose a goal. Now click the button that says Show Additional Information and complete all the fields in this section. This is a mandatory section. Once you have completed all of these fields, click the button at the bottom that says Mark as Written Today. Then click Return to Attendance Details. Now you can click save at the completion of the note. It will say attendance was successfully saved if it was. However, in a case like this, you can see it's saying, please wait. That means you have warnings that must be addressed. Scroll to the top of the page and see what your warnings are. You can either click okay with warnings 
if you need to leave the parents home and you're going to fix it later or you can click cancel and go back in and fix the warnings in this case we'll have the guardian sign it and fill in their name and their relationship and now when we click save it will say attendance was successfully saved if you get a message that says web error occurred you need to refresh your web page unfortunately if you are working in someone's house on their wi-fi and then you go to the, your car you will lose the internet so it is very important that you successfully save your note prior to leaving the house and then reopen the website once you get to your car or your home to finish the note to navigate back to the session that needs to be completed simply follow these steps click on my day and today's schedule and click the attendance button next to the child you want to edit. Now you can go back in and finish anything you need to do on the note and save it again. Next step is signing your notes.